Hello, Rosa Falcon. I'm excited that you might be staffing an awesome house pretty soon. The purpose of this video is to inform you on what it might be like to staff at a row house. On Sundays, I place my produce and dairy orders for the following week, and I have a nice house dinner with my residents. It might be hashing the house with the rest of the staff and the residents. Uh, sometimes clean up a little bit in the lounge. We usually have staff meetings, which can be anywhere from an hour and a half to two and a half hours. I already have the details for plans we have coming up. We'll gather for staff meeting. Generally, I'll prepare the agenda for staff meeting at some point on Saturday or some point on Sunday and send it out to the entire staff so that they can always add their thoughts. On Monday, I wake up at 8 a.m. and bring in the dairy order. We have our house meetings where we'll talk about any announcements that residents have as well as anything that's going on with the house in the future and any proposals that we all need to consent on. Our chef is back in the kitchen, our, our hashing staff is back. It's just checking in on that and seeing how the weekend went, um, making sure that everything got cleaned up from the weekend. I typically check the computer cluster uh, every couple of days, sometimes it falls on Monday, make sure that the printer has plenty of paper, make sure that the cluster itself is clean. I bring in the vegetables, the fruit, the new produce. So hung around the house and I made a couple of reservations for upcoming events and helped bring in produce. Sometimes we sometimes we have a, our staff meeting in the middle of the week if that's uh, you know if it works better with all of our schedules. So on busier weeks, especially during winter quarter, there might be a few hours of staff interviews that I have on a particular weeknight. And things you really don't expect about people canceling or having to change time or us honestly not issuing enough time slots for everyone to sign up on. So that's just a lot of frantic organization, replanning and being improvisational so to adapt to the situation given at hand. and. Not only that, but thinking about what questions we wanted to ask each candidate, what that would tell us about not only them as a person, but how they would contribute to Mars was something we really had in mind. I'll generally keep my door open from you know maybe 7 p.m. until I go to sleep at 1 or 2 a.m. or whatever it may be. Um, and then I try to check in kind of and see what the house feeling is um, on any given night. So I'll walk around the house um, to see whose rooms are open and whose aren't see who's working downstairs, who's had a really late night studying. Um, and every so often, you know, if it's a really late night, I'll make mac and cheese forever. Bring in and unpack all the dried goods, and then I set up for wine and cheese. Throughout the week, I receive a lot of emails um, from people who want to host events in Moss. We frequently roll out together to wine and cheese and EBS. I'll generally um, kind of spend as much time as possible in the house. So. I've been currently working on a problem with this computer right here, uh, which has been having some trouble booting up the windows. We as staff typically meet on Thursday evenings for about an hour to an hour and a half. I collate the menus for the following week, get back to residents and make sure that we can get everything that they need for their menus. Being in the house for meal times is really important to me um, as much as possible just so that I have that chance to check in with residents. Thursdays, I spend three hours on cook group. On Fridays, I have a low-key afternoon event with my residents. Things like setting up decorations if we're having a special dinner or um, making sure that things are going well and that people have plans for the weekend. Um. Friday on the lawn and sometimes I help set up for that but mostly it's just chilling with people in the beautiful sunshine and I help clean up if necessary. Come back to Phi Sig, get dinner here and um, get ready for whatever party or social Function. On Saturdays, I spend anywhere from three to five hours in QuickBooks just making sure all our records are straight. I call up vendors sometimes to make sure everything's in order and I try to get everyone's checks back to them on a weekly basis. If the house is going to roll out to a big event like a football game or a party um, that we all kind of are able to do that in a communal way. Hang out around my house studying and spending some time with my residents. One of the most rewarding things about being on staff was learning a ton about food. 
their internet browser comes up with an actual page and so you know that they connect to the internet, everyone just breathes this big sigh of relief uh, and you feel like a hero. And they're so they're so appreciative and they, they just like are, you know, they're your biggest fan. And you, you, you know, go back to your room and say like, yeah, I did my job. As your year goes on, you just become really close to the people in your house if you're, if you're doing your job right. So uh, it's not really a burden and it doesn't really feel like work at some point because these are your friends and they're people that you love to hang out with. So the most rewarding part of my job is, you know, hearing good feedback from my residents. Is that we broke down our roles. They really dissolved um, and we just kind of treated each other as staff. There was no like one RCC, one FM, CM, KM or RA. It was very much equal towards the amount of work we put in, and as a result, our shared ideas uh, were more valuable and became more interesting.